Many people will take advantage of the long holiday weekend to get out of town, but with more and more people in different places testing positive for the Zika virus, there are some concerns about traveling. Here's a look at where Zika has been confirmed. It covers a large stretch from South America to the Caribbean to Mexico and even Florida. We all know to wear bug spray, but what happens if you do get a mosquito bite? KXAN's Leslie Rangel went to find out. Like many of you, I've been wondering what's the deal with Zika? And with an upcoming trip to Mexico, what happens if I get infected? What if I don't show any symptoms? So we wanted answers, and we went straight to the Austin Travis County Health and Human Services Department. I mean, you don't just test everyone for everything. You know, you have to have some sort of rationale for who needs to be tested. Right now, the priority is for pregnant women and anyone who's showing symptoms. And they say you need to have three out of four symptoms, including rash, headache, joint pain, or red eyes. We have limited testing, so there's not just an unlimited supply of the testing. So we want to make sure that it's used uh, in the most effective way we uh, can. Because of the limited amount of resources, the health department says it will not test anyone without symptoms, even if you have been to a Zika hot zone. But health officials admit the system isn't perfect. 80% of people who are infected have no symptoms. So, you know, that's, uh, that makes it a little more difficult in managing this. He insists the biggest concern should be for moms to be because the illness itself is not as clinically serious, but it's really that uh, birth, the birth defects, the result when a pregnant woman is infected. Uh, that's, that's of most concern at this time. So here's the deal. The doctor recommends taking mosquito spray. The CDC says one with at least 20% DEET. Another thing, make sure to pack long sleeves and long pants to make sure the mosquitoes don't bite you. And when you get back, just be sure to monitor for any possible symptoms. For now, reporting in Austin, Leslie Rangel, KXAN News. If you don't have any symptoms, but you want to know if you have Zika, you'll have to find a private doctor to see if their lab tests for the disease. It can cost $500 or more, and you'd have to check with your insurance provider to see if it's covered. Just this last Friday, the Food and Drug Administration called for Zika testing on all blood donations. That practice is already going on in Florida and in Puerto Rico. People in Florida are, are debating a plan to use genetically modified mosquitoes to kill off the Zika infected insects. It's already FDA approved, but people who live in the Florida Keys where the modified mosquitoes would be released, some of them don't like that plan. It will be up for a public vote in November. A